Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my brothers, my sisters. Uh, I want to talk about expectations of parents when it comes to their own children and uh, the impact that that can have on these children. The reason I say it is of late, I've been having a lot of young children and uh, sometimes teenagers who are uh, suicidal. Uh, they feel very, very low. Their self-esteem is very low. And when you probe, you find that the parents have a very, very high expectation uh, of those children. Now, when Allah blesses us with children, uh, everyone loves their kids and each one wants the child to be the best. And each one prays to the Almighty that this child will be the best. And uh, obviously we would love to see our children excel even beyond us. But what we need to remember is that is just a child. Each one has his own capacity. And uh, you know, we don't need to expect them to, be, to come first in the class, uh, to have straight A's, uh, to be the wealthiest of everyone. We don't expect them to be, uh, you know, number one in everything. So we don't have to put all that pressure on the child because then when the child does not perform as well as we would like the child to perform what happens is we actually uh, have uh, we, we have caused the child to become low in self-esteem because of our pressure and because we are putting so much of pressure the child is stressed and if the child comes second we say no you could have done better I want to address those parents to say, please be careful. You need to understand, just encourage your child to do his or her best. Once the child has done his or her best, Alhamdulillah, it's good. Uh, you know, bad behavior sometimes is actually worse than not performing in a classroom as well as your father or mother expected you to because each one has a capacity some take long to understand concepts some can understand these concepts a little bit quicker so what we need to know is with with our children let's not put too much pressure on them you know i always tell my children look i love you and i just want you to do your best wherever you've made a mistake you know we we will help but if you have played around and so on and so forth uh, that is one thing if you've tried your best and you do not perform then you're not going to get scolded at they should not be scared to face me as a result of what their performance was in the examinations so if your children are frightened to show you their exam results it's because of the way you have treated them and the amount of pressure that you've put the amount of pressure that you have put on them uh, to to perform and so they they not only become hypocritical or uh, they become scared but it affects them mentally I've known of children who even before the exam results come out uh, they already are suicidal they become depressed they become sick you know they actually fall so badly ill and you wonder what it is when the doctors tell you there's nothing wrong with this child and you're thinking I wonder what's going on but the amount of pressure you've placed on the child is just too much and I want to remind you the wealthiest of the globe are those who did not do well at school <laughs> I mean that's ironic but it's so true go and check it up the richest of the rich are those who most of them most of them did not perform well at school some of them hardly went to school some of them if you were to talk to them they couldn't even speak they have others to talk on, on, on their behalf but they did it so what is it that you're putting pressure on your child for you know um, there needs to be a little bit of encouragement definitely in the right direction but not to the degree that the child suffocates I don't need my child to be first in the class I promise you I just need a, a child who is of good character good conduct knows how to behave himself herself and understands the link they're supposed to be having with their maker so this is something that is definitely worth thinking of uh, I decided uh, you know as I'm driving towards the airport subhanallah while I'm being driven towards the airport to actually uh, speak about this because of something that happened today 
And I thought to myself, before I, I get busy with anything else, let me make mention of this for the benefit of one and all. And inshallah, I will be posting this up on YouTube uh, a little bit later for the benefit of everyone. So remember, uh, don't put pressure on your children. Don't have these expectations that are too high. Uh, even when it comes to marriage, some of us have very, very high expectations of our children. And we don't realize that sometimes they won't want what we want. And sometimes the person that they may have uh, introduced to us, which is happening nowadays, might actually be a better option than whom we think they should be marrying. Because some of us, we've just got a dream. It's just in this ideal fantasy we've got in our minds. My child will do this and do that. Your child won't be the best performing child in sports in the sport or in the classroom you know the sports that the child might be participating in or any other activities or the classroom your child will not be the best no let them perform let them enjoy it it's all about enjoying I talk about my school days I'm sure you all speak about your school days as well with fond memories you know we have we had fun there were days we got into a little bit of trouble there were days when we got up to a little bit of mischief you know do I look like the mischievous one Nah, I don't but anyway uh, yes, we did get up to a little bit here and there. Sometimes, you know, we did this, got into trouble for not doing our homework and so on. That was part of growing up. We enjoyed it, you know. Uh, some of us were fortunate that we were probably the top few in the class, but it's not always the case. Sometimes we didn't. And I know of people who are really intelligent. If they don't come first, they are depressed. They cannot eat. They cannot speak. They cannot go out because I think there is too much pressure on that child from those who live with the child or around. So let's drop that, inshallah, to a level that is acceptable in a way that strike the balance. I want to encourage my child, but at the same time, the child needs to know if you don't come first, I really, really still love you. And I love you even more if your character and conduct is great and you have not performed so well. But if you were lazy and I saw you wasting money, etc., in the sense that I'm paying your school fee and you just, you know, lazed around, then it would hurt me, you know. So let's word our encouragement to our children in the best possible way. My brothers and sisters, this is a very beautiful message. I've kept it to the point and I've spoken about this issue of putting pressure on our children, having very high expectations from our children and the damage that that causes. I've seen children who are, who, who are suicidal. They literally want to kill themselves because they didn't do so well in the exam room. I mean, come on, my beloved parents, you're supposed to have thought of this from earlier on. Uh, we're going into a tunnel, so I don't know what's going to happen here. But inshallah, I'll still be able to see you a little bit. I hope the network is not lost. But if it is, inshallah, uh, I will still be putting this up on, on uh, YouTube, inshallah, and we will be able to benefit from it. Uh, oh, we're already coming out of the tunnel from the other side. Mashallah, tabarakallah. Okay, there it goes. Mashallah, we're back. So my brothers and sisters, I, I pray that you can uh, help your children, especially those who are young and still, you know, up and coming. Uh, to to uh, let them enjoy that part of their lives. Don't put too much pressure. Sometimes when it comes to uh, perhaps religious studies, uh, we put so much of pressure on the child that they their growth and their upbringing is actually distorted or it is stunted in one way or another. Something goes wrong because we've put so much pressure they begin to dislike religious studies. You know, I know when memorizing the Quran, for example, uh, some of the parents put so much pressure on their children that the children begin to develop uh, a hatred towards what they're doing or sometimes the mischievousness shows in their behavior and we don't know it was us who actually caused it because of the way we uh, applied pressure and we did not allow them to be children. When someone tells me, oh, my child became a half is, you know, at the age of four and five and I start thinking there will be some form of deficiency in the growth of that child because of the pressure you've actually put to for that child at such a young age to do something and to push them for what i mean nobody's going to ask you when you're the imam of the masjid at what age did you finish your your your, your salah some meaning your your quran for example or uh, how good were your results at school when you've become a doctor or something i know of people who are doctors top doctors who didn't make it first time you know they, they struggled even getting into the university 
So remember, my brothers and sisters, I wouldn't like someone putting pressure on me to perform uh, in a way that it depresses me, stresses me, the same way our children are even weaker than us. We're grown adults and we don't like it. What about little kids? Uh, I hope we've learned a beautiful lesson. Barakallah feek, inshallah. I hope to put this up, like I said. Aqulu qawli hadha. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.